Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to be creating pages and posts. You are now looking at an article that has been written and formatted in Microsoft Word. And what we want to do now is we want to take that article that we've written and we want to place it or post it inside of our WordPress site. Now you can actually do the writing ahead of time in Microsoft Word or your favorite word processing software. And then you'll have a document that looks something like this. Now what we need to do before we start moving this content over to WordPress, we want to take out all of the code that might be in it. And the way that we do that is we're going to move all of this into a text document first. And all we'll need to do is we'll need to select all, we'll control C and copy it, and then we will cut and paste this content into a text document. So now we have our content into a text document. There is no more code involved and so what we can do now is we can now copy all of this code we can really just go and select it all and then copy it we're going to come back to our wordpress document and we'll decide on whether or not we want to use a post or a page so we're going to start by doing a post so we're going to click add new and we're going to give our post a title now we actually copied that content in there already so we're going to take this content, we're going to cut it, and we're going to put the title here. Now the WordPress editor works for the most part like any other editor. We can take out some of the space, and then we have some reasonable confidence that our article is going to appear in this way. Now there are some other things that we can do with this content before we finalize it. And in order to do that, we want to go over to the visual editor. And in order to go over to the visual editor, we're just going to click this link. And we'll get a sense for how our article is actually going to look. Now one of the things that we can do in order to keep our content uniform when we post any time inside of our WordPress document is to work with things like subtitles. And we can do that by highlighting the subtitle and making the change in this area. We can typically use one of the headings to make it easy to be consistent in our post. So in this particular case, we're gonna change this to heading four. We're gonna change all of the subtitles to he heading four. Now in some cases, when we are doing a post, we are going to want to hyperlink some of the content in it. And in order to do that in WordPress, it is very easy to do. All we'll need to do is to go and highlight the actual content that we want to hyperlink. Then we'll click the link. And then we'll place the URL to the clickable link that we want it to be. And we'll click the arrow. And we can do that for any of the content throughout our document. Now, one other important thing that we can do with this content is that we can actually place an image inside of the text. And we can do that by placing the cursor where we want the image to be and then we can then click add media because we're literally going to insert an image now if we didn't have the image that we wanted to insert we would click upload files and then we're going to find a file on our hard drive okay once we have the file in our hard drive we'll import it into our document and what you're going to notice is that this photo doesn't quite look the way we would want it to look. And so we can actually go in and change some of these settings. And we can do so so that our text will actually align with our image. And we can actually have it aligned to the left. And we can update it. And then our text will wrap around that image as well as the title. And then once we have completed the post, all we would have to do is click publish. Now 
Once we've done that, then we can actually go and review our post and our content is in place along with our widgets. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that this post was placed in our team victory category. Now, what we can do is when we start to come up with new posts and new categories for our team, we can actually then start to place new information here. And we can create a new category by writing it in, actually inside of our post. So we can create a category that's called events. And then all we'll need to do is to click add new category. Once we do that, then we can take this out. And then we're going to click update for our post. Now, one thing that you'll notice right away is that our URL has changed. And our URL now reflects the fact that this post is now in the events category. And this is what you'll want to do as you post. You want to make sure that you are putting your post into the right category, or at least the ones that you desire to have them in. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.